there everyone and welcome to our channel. We're five chicks in a bottle. I'm Deanna. We have Allison, Lindsay, Michelle, and Lynn here. Thanks for joining in with us. We're super excited to have you here. Uh, we're going to learn, share, and empower you to embrace a healthy living using Young Living products. The reason the five of us and so many others have chosen Young Living is because of their seed to sale promise. And you can check out more about that at www.seedtosale.com. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell below now so that you don't miss out on any of our new videos from these lovely chicks. The bell notifies you when a new video is uploaded. Today's oil will be Young Living's Lavender. So let's go ahead and get those bottles popping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, to me, this scent smells very calming, relaxing, very balancing. Um, it has a nickname of the Swiss Army Knife of Oil. And there is a vitality option. And it, this is used for internal consumption. So um, you can also use it topically, aromatically, and the vitality option internally. And you guys, to be honest, I have to admit, lavender, I thought lavender wasn't my scent until I smelled and it started using Young Living's lavender. And what a game changer. It's absolutely awesome. It's probably an oil on my shelf that I reach for daily. Um, it helps with sleep and mood. And Young Living also has a vitality, um, uh, high, like drops you can put in, into your water too. So mm -hmm. a favorite here on my end. I gotta get those. <laughs> Man. Man. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Electrolytes. <laughs> So, um, who wants to share on how they use lavender? I can go. So, lavender is great for all things skin, um, and that is why I use it as an alternative to a diaper rash cream. I, on my baby, will use a little bit of lavender mixed with a coconut oil for butt rashes, but eliminate the butt <laughs> and it works on all things rashes <laughs> so dry skin eczema it's great for all things skin yes nice it's great on the heels of your feet too have you tried that you guys no for like oh. your dry huh? yes it really does like keep it by your bedside rub it on your heels it just overnight it really does work good so it softens them uh -huh. yes crazy lens crazy easy how do you use lavender uh, for like for the kids? How do you, what like, do you put in a roller ball? How do you use it? Um, so for the diaper rash cream alternative, I'll do it like in a little mason jar um, with coconut oil and I have like a little scoop. Um, so it's more of like a, a paste, um, but for like rashes, I have it in a roller with coconut oil. That's good to know. Nice. Should I go next? Sure. Yeah, Allison, let's hear what you have, what you use uh, lavender for. Okay. I use lavender on my wool dryer balls. So we no longer use fabric softener. We use um, the Young Living brand um, detergent, laundry detergent. And then what we do, or I do, since I'm the person who does the laundry, um, <laughs> I take a couple drops of this of the lavender and I put it on um, a couple wool dryer, ball, dryer balls. Uh, I probably put like five or six, seven drops, just depending on the load, the, the, the size of the load of laundry. Um, and I toss the wool dryer balls in there with my laundry, uh, my clean laundry. They go into the dryer and then um, they, the wool dryer balls help keep soften our clothes. They help dry our clothes quicker, which means that I don't have to use it on the highest um, setting, I can use it on a medium to low setting. And then also the lavender on the wool helps disperse all throughout all of our laundry. So it smells so good. <clears throat> well, you guys use it all for like skin and dryer balls. Um, 
I'm with the Lindsay on the skin part of it. The, the lavender, um, along with frankincense, is one of uh, one of our um, <laughs> is one of our go-to morning rituals for scars. So my fiance Will, he had neck surgery, and um, he um, religiously every morning and every night would put lavender on his um, on a scar, lavender and frankincense together. And it just, it took the scar and uh, it, it's, so, it's so clean and so smooth. In fact, I'm gonna share with you what it looks like because it really came out great. And this, let's see, oops. So you can see the difference before, right? Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, Holy cow. Great. Isn't that crazy how it goes? It almost like looks like a whole, a completely different surgery scar. It's it's mm -hmm. transformed just right. so nicely. I know. So really, if you guys are um, got any scars, make sure you get that lavender on it daily. It is such a great product for that. I put it on other scars, scars. Um, you know, even on my face scars, and mm -hmm. you know, it it just lightens it up a lot, smooths it out. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna try that on my carpal tunnels. Yeah. From the oh, summer, yeah. yeah. I got my gallbladder out a couple of years ago. I'm putting that on my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. That will fade away. I have that too, Allison. That'll fade away. But lavender will speed it up. That's for sure. Oh my gosh, I did. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Michelle, what do you use it for? Well, it's it really um, just to expand upon what you guys are saying about the skin and stuff. So I actually add it to my hair serum. So um, I made up a little hair serum that um, it not only promotes hair growth, but it also soothes the skin because that's what lavender does, right? So I take a four ounce glass bottle. You can do it in a one ounce, two ounce, just how often you're going to end up making it is really what determines what bottle size you want to use. But just take a, a four ounce bottle. I add Add, um, probably about 40 to 50 drops of lavender right into the bottle and then I fill it up the rest of the way well halfway with witch hazel and I just use this on um, TN Dickinson's um, because it's it seems across the board to be the safest in the witch hazel um, options at the drugstore. And then I also fill the rest of the way, so that's halfway. So you put the lavender, you put the witch hazel, you fill the rest with distilled water. And if you use distilled water, then it keeps longer and there's no chance of it getting moldy or icky or anything. Um, and then I, I shake it up right um, after I wash my hair, wet head, and I spray it right here on the top of my head. And sometimes I'll even take a little on my fingers and just go over my eyebrows. <laughs> just to make promote um, hair growth um, on my brows to fill them in. Um, not only does it promote the hair growth, but it also soothes the skin. So I live in Michigan. We have, you know, the summers where sometimes your scalp might get burnt or dry from the, the sun. And then of course the winter months, I feel like it, like, almost immediate when those cold, cold 30 degree days start, like you start getting itchy, right? In your head. So the lavender really helps to soothe that. And then again, like I said, to promote the hair growth. What's nice about it too, is you can even do it when your hair isn't wet and it's just like a, a nighttime routine, you can put it in. It will not make your hair greasy at all. Young Living Essential Oils, unless they have a carrier oil added, which lavender does not, it's straight up lavender, um, it, it does not have any fatty acids in it. So it's not gonna give you that greasy feeling and it won't make your hair look greasy at all. You will wake up and your hair will look just as normal as ever. So unless it has a carrier oil in it, um, it, it carrier oils tend to have fatty acids, which makes that greasy and like thicker, but essential oils do not. So you can just spray it right on your hair and, and go. It's really nice. And I am telling you guys, I even sometimes put a little bit peppermint too. I know we're not talking about peppermint today, but that like kind of like, you know, wakes you up a little bit. So yes. yeah, it's a really great hair serum. It's funny that you said that about the fatty acids because like I put a drop like right in my hand. And at first, when I first got started using oils, I was like, Oh, how am I going to put this in a diffuser? How am I going to, like, wh how am I going to use this? And like, we let, we put it on our hands and my hands are not, my hands are completely dry. Mm -hmm. It's not like there's mm -hmm. any type of residue whatsoever. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes when you use certain hand sanitizers or if you use soaps with like a synthet synthetic fragrance in it, after you wash your hands a little while after you sort of notice that like, little bit of like that grimy feeling. I don't know if that's the word I want to use, but like, I feel like I'm not, I don't, 
get that. I don't get that with, I don't even think I get that with the soaps from Young Living. I think it's because they're, nothing is synthetic. The soaps are mm -hmm. like, when we talk about the soaps, those just, those rinse off clean. Mm -hmm. But we're not talking about that today. <laughs> <laughs> Young Living does have that lavender foaming soap. So mm, it does, we right. do have the lavender option. And I love the way it foams. So. Mm -hmm. And one thing that none of us actually mentioned, which I keep a bottle of this right next in my kitchen, like right next to my, between my stove and my sink, but burns. Um, I've also done it with my mm -hmm. uh, flat iron before too. When you, when you nick yourself with the flat iron or burn yourself in the kitchen, immediately just put a, a little bit of lavender on. And I mean, it takes the sting away. I mean, within seconds and you will notice very quickly the reduction in redness. Um, if you just keep applying it um, right after you burn yourself, that's, that's, I would say like the number one thing. And, and, and none of us actually touched on that, but yeah, that's a, it's a great way to use lavender too. It, it really brings, helps with soothing burns. That brings me to also like my granddaughter got bit by something in my backyard and you know, you're looking for what to put on it. And I'm like, I've got an arsenal of oils at my disposal. Right. So we put on that lavender and it, the redness of that bite went, went away. It just, mm -hmm. uh, it, and, and it she stopped her crying. Um, the pain went away. So Burns, scars, bites. My God, rashes, I this was rashes. rashes, skin, scalp mm -hmm. everywhere, head to toe. That is why lavender has that nickname of the Swiss Army knife of essential oils. Yep. Yeah. Um, so Lindsay, I just want to say Lindsay and I both just got a tattoo the other day, not together but separately, mm -hmm. and I have been putting lavender and frankincense with the v6 um the, the v6 oil that they have from young living there's like sunflower seed oil there's coconut oil there's a whole bunch of stuff in it and i have just been rubbing it yeah that and i've just been taking a drop of lavender a drop of frankincense and then some of that carrier oil and just rubbing it all over the tattoo if after i've washed it with the thieves mm -hmm. so it's and it because i mean it's 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 you know like a mark on the skin so yeah yeah, I bet it. I bet it will and really keep the the color of your tattoo. Well, all right, ladies, thank you so much for sharing all that wonderful information. I learned a lot. I can see how I can apply it to my everyday. So, to all of you out there, we want to know how do you see yourself using this oil? If you're not already working with somebody, we'd love you to join our oily love team. So to do that, you can drop a comment below or email us at fivechicksinabottle at gmail.com. And that's a wrap for today. We got to run. Give us a thumbs up if you liked what you learned about. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell <laughs> button to receive future notifications. Next up, we're going to be chatting all about lemon. So see ya. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye.